Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was a rock and roll song. Are you going to be able to? You go ahead. I'll do it like this. Here you go. This is your who you work for, right? It is, yeah. You don't have one of these. Sometimes I do. Good day today, uh, good mental day. Told these guys better stay humble, better stay hungry, better get our butts prepared. Uh, these guys, it's conference play. And you throw everything out and nothing else matters. There's no team in this league that can't beat you if you don't you, you don't prepare to play. And the only team that can beat us is us. And we got we gotta make sure that we're not, you know, we have a hundred we talk about owning the football. Uh, we talk about uh, playing with a lot of confidence, talk about uh, how we start, being prepared uh, in the mental preparation. We've had the best week of practice we've had. So Whatever that means. Questions? Who's kind of leading that uh, devil backer group this week? I think Edmund and uh, Antonio both will play quite a bit. I think Marcus needs to play a little bit more in certain situations. Um, but uh, probably those two. I think, uh, uh, you know, uh, Antonio is probably doing a little bit better. I don't know. So that's kind of where we're at. I think Ami and, and uh, we kind of settled into Ami and uh, Smallwood at the three technique. Um, I think Cherry's had a good week at Nose, uh, so Jackson and Cherry probably at Nose with Mo coming in. Uh, and Marcus Hardis has been the most consistent person up front, so he'll he'll play there. If we need somebody else there, we'll move Edmund over there, be the next guy in there. And then um, the three guys at Devil that we talked about, and then we need to have DeMore rushing the passer on third down, so that's something that's, that's kind of our focus. Special teams have been such an emphasis in the offseason. How would you evaluate that? Well, we, uh, we'd like to get to return a kickoff. I mean, we haven't got to return one yet, so uh, uh, don't know much about that. I think our punt return's been solid. Yeah, I think our guys have done a great job with that. We've had punters kick the ball really, really high. We had not been able to get returns because we've held people up. We've blocked a punt, so I feel like we've done pretty good there. Our kickoff cover, other than a debacle kick, we kicked one out of bounds, or uh, I think one or two out of bounds, and then we kicked one on a line drive, and, 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 and I don't think anybody knew who had the ball. Uh, other than that, we've done a pretty good job of covering the, covering the kicks. I think our punt uh, has been, you know, our guys have done a good job on the unit. We just got to punt the football, and that's probably the weakest thing that we've done at this point. And we've had the best week of punting, so got a lot of faith in, in um, Hawk and, uh, and Matt, and um, uh, I think he'll have the best week. What kind of receiver is Spruce? It's kind of positive, trying uh, to positive vibes. <laughs> <laughs> what? What kind of receiver is Spruce? It's really good. He's a great route runner. He's their go-to guy. Great double cut guy. Guy that can really hurt you. Uh, great. Uh, fit. He's, he's very physical uh, and will go get the ball. Uh, he's a, he's the number one guy you have to stop. Using Kalen at the the goal line is that <coughs> sort of uh, saving DJ a little bit physically and, and then also using kind of a different back there. No, I don't. I don't, I don't think so. I think that uh, he's using the guys to you know as needed. You know, DJ. Uh, I uh, want to keep DJ fresh and all that, but uh, uh, I think DJ's been down in there and scored quite a bit too. So um, uh, I like Caleb. Uh, you know, I'd like for him to really get where he knows what he's doing at running backs. I'd love to have him rush the quarterback and third down. That guy's really, really good. Good player. Is this a game where you're going to get a sense of where you're at, like getting off blocks, tackling on the perimeter? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, we, we, our key is we got to get better every week. I think we've done that to this point. It's just kind of hard to gauge because it. You, know, you play the triple option, and it's just so – I can't take I, mean, I can't figure out, you know. I think we played well, uh, and, and uh, you know, last week it was 21 to nothing. I think our guys let up a little bit. Uh, but, uh, you know, we haven't played against a conventional Pac-12 style offense yet, and so we'll play uh, one this week. And uh, uh, obviously we'll, I think we'll be able to tell a lot more of where we're at this week. But uh, – main thing is just eliminating the mental errors and, and, and if we'll execute our system and what we're doing, that's the key. And you got a lot of youth, that's, that's been the issue so far. So uh, this is conference play, man, we got to get ready. You know, we've had uh, uh, two games to get ready. I think we've improved, uh, but we got to have, like I said last week, marked improvement. We gotta have, it's got to jump twice as much this week. So bottom line, we've got to get win number one in Pac-12 on the road, and that's not easy. Uh, our guys, our guys understand the challenge ahead of them. So, but I got a lot of confidence in our guys. I think our guys will play well. When you um, look at the the stats, the Pac-12 stats, or your stats, defensively, what stats are you looking at? What, what is something that's? Important? I don't even look at them right now. Uh, you know, the rushing rushing defense is the number one thing that I look at. Uh, if you ask me, what do I want to be number one in? I want to be number one in scoring defense, and the number one factor that impacts that is rushing defense. Two things we want to do. We want to control the line of scrimmage, impact the quarterback, and don't give up cheap ones. If people score on you with one play drives, that's how you lose football games. Uh, 
run. So you got to make people earn it all the way down the field. So if you can stop the run, if a team can't run the ball, then they're never going to consistently score on you. So uh, that's just over the years, that's what I look at. I really don't look at total yards. We, we do if it's good for us. If it's not good for us, we don't look at it. Uh, you know, like if you, everybody taunts their pass defense, and then if you looked at their rush defense, you'd know why they're taunting their pass defense. I look last year at the team with the best rush defense in the Pac-12 conference last year, you know, the year before that, and that's the team that won it. And you will see that they also had the best scoring defense. I don't look at non-conference games either. I want to know what you're doing in conference play. That's what matters. That's the stats that we look at. So, you know, our key is is don't give up cheap touchdowns. That's one play runs, one play passes over 20 yards. You know, what I'm saying over 15 yards. You know, we say passes over 15, runs over, over 10. So that's that's big for us. And then rush defense. And, and so, you know, that's. Uh, that's, that's the most important factor in my opinion. It's just non-conference stats. No, I just think like whenever you like right now you you got you got people that are you know who have you played? You know what I'm saying? And then it just skews the stats. I think you, I just look at the Pac-12 opponents.